Hello everyone, dear friends. And in this video you will find out what is so good about Archer. And why so many people switch to it. And which is better Archer or Fletcher. I will tell you the principle about my experience for this character. I've been playing for him for about 2 months. I have almost 25,000 BP and this is probably the top one among the Rue community. You will learn about all this in this video. Be sure to like. Subscribe to the channel. On social networks that are in the description so as not to miss new videos. Let's start in general about this character. The character goes far and he is very good. And he is good in both PvE and PvP. Why I came in due time to this character. Primarily due to the fact that he is a long distance. It will suit very well those people who do not have a lot of BS. In the distant batch you will feel great. Since there will be practically no damage for you. And Fletcher has a fairly large damage. And quite a lot of damage, that is, you will feel very, very comfortable even with a small BS. Second thing you like very much. In the farm he also feels very, very good, and just here we are getting closer to whom it is better to take. Fletcher or Archer. If you plan to mainly only farm then Archer is more suitable for you. He farms a little more. If you want it for PvP, then of course Fletcher. Mostly in Korea everyone runs after Fletcher. In PvP he is a little better. And it, let's start with the minuses, its main minus is probably only one. Then there are some skills that take a long time to cast. He has no more minuses in principle. Of the pluses, I already said distant. The advantage is that he has a lot of control. He has a lot from the jump. And in general when he will try against such characters who are melee. He has so many skills with which he can jump. Can cast and the skills themselves, they go this way made in this way. That he jumps back to put on super armor. And in general, if we say so if a handy Fletcher. In principle, it will be very difficult for a militiaman to pick it up. Let me show you how it looks like such a suit I like best of all. This is his standard bow. A bow from an archer will not work because he often asks. And the second weapon is such a kind of spear. Now let's see the skills. Skills, I think you have looked at the principle many times for a long time. All sorts of videos and so on. But nevertheless, let me show you the skills. The first skill I have, by the way, all the skills are pumped. Up to about the 7th level, as you can see 6-7 on the 7th there is an additional boost so that a lot is given the first skill deals damage very good for PvE PvP this skill is not so strong. Second, he takes a step back and it turns out that he stuns his opponent, puts on armor suitable for PvP, cool and very skill, this is just right against melee, that is, if they approach you. You can safely jump back while overturning the enemy, a Nevyaz is thrown and in PvP a very cool skill. I set it when she PvE I set myself a set when I change the attribute for PvP. I basically have all the attributes as they say on the cap. The next skill is suitable for PvE, he has a lot of skills which are PvE and so on. The next skill is one of the most important in PvP, he overturns his opponent. Suitable PvE and PvP have attributes and also puts on armor. Very cool skill it can be used either first or second very cool. Skill it lacks small damage there is an attribute suitable for PvP and PvE I used it. Purely for the first skill to overturn his opponent, he casts quickly enough. It can be used first to overturn and there already apply stronger skills that inflict more damage another skill which is very cool for PvP if you can throw yourself on yourself when approaching the enemy. Unreliable and you can calmly go to your range and inflict damage. Next skill I even tested it honestly suitable for PvE close attack. The skill of the biggest damage you can see. I have it pumped how much it is pumped by 7 very cool it is suitable and for PvE for PvP its only drawback. That he has been cast for a long time. 
Use it, you first throw some skill and then apply this damage. Deals a huge amount of damage PvE PvP there is an attribute and armor is thrown. The next skill is good for PvE and that's it. That is, when a bunch of monsters hits the ground like a hammer of a Thor and the principle of overturning their opponent. A buff that heals you and gives you an attack plus adds to the cooldown of skills here. Let me show you it goes PvE my layout this is how it looks. And PvP you can try and if we assume that some of the layouts did not fit. You can just supplement it a little. Here it goes PvP. On this all the people in general, I can generally say the character is very cool. Be sure to like and subscribe to the channel.